Yeah, welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, so it is time for Talking Kids with Dr. Caitlin. Dr. Caitlin Iddings is with us this morning, as always. She is a pediatrician, always joins us with such valuable information. So today we're going to give trick or treating tips, safety tips, as we're just a week away from week Halloween. Week and a half away. Week and a half. Got a couple yeah. extra days to get those costumes together. All right. Well, good morning, Doc. <laughs> good morning. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. During the break, she was telling us the trouble she's having to go through to get costumes for her kids. So don't worry. You'll yeah. get it done. There's time. There's there is time. time. So. Okay, but, so how do we want to start today? Yeah, so we're going to talk about how to ace trigger treating as far as safety. So the okay. A stands for around the house. So first thing you need to do is if you're going to have trigger treaters, look around your house, make sure your sidewalks are swept off, there's no loose leaves, black mm -hmm. walnuts are falling this time of year, those are hard, you know, easy to trip over. Mm -hmm. Make sure your exterior lighting has been you know updated to where you can actually make sure your lights have been replaced so it's nice and bright if you're going to be participating make sure that your pumpkins have LED lights in them and not actual like fire mm -hmm. because that can be a big thing with kids walking around with costumes and right. little ones liking to touch fire then burning themselves on the pumpkins so we prefer mm -hmm. that you do LED lights if you're going to be doing lights for pumpkins okay so that's the around the house that's a the C is of course costume and I brought my five-year-old's costume today to show you what not to do okay because what she wanted was Elsa, right? Which yes. has this really long train uh, yeah. that is gonna easily be stepped on. The good thing is the train detaches. So we'll take like the cute pictures before, mm -hmm. okay. and then we'll take the train off. So make sure when that- When she's actually out trick or treating. Yes, okay. to go trick or treating. So make sure that you are removing any sort of tripping hazards. Make sure it's not so long enough that they're tripping over it. Wearing good, solid shoes. So I mean, everyone wants their cute shoes with their costume, but mm -hmm. sometimes tennis shoes are the best option, mm -hmm. right? And then m avoiding running around with any like sharp objects, so scissors. Don't run with scissors, right? Don't run with sharp swords or anything like that. Make sure your props are plastic or anything. If they were to fall and trip, they're not gonna be impaling themselves. And then the last part is E, which is for eating, right? So I always tell parents, tell your kids not to be snacking as they're going. You know, when we're walking around eating, especially hard candies and stuff like that, that can be more of a choking hazard, which we've talked about before. Yes. And especially with your little ones, you wanna kind of go through the bag before you kind of let them get into things to make sure that they have age appropriate candies. And so um, the other thing we kind of talked about with the fentanyl is just making sure you're going through and checking, making sure nothing looks like it's been tampered with, making sure nothing's open, making sure that you don't, I mean, really, I discourage eating home-baked goods. Some people still like to pass yeah. those out, but it's yeah. really kind of best to make sure that everything looks pretty kosher and pre-packaged. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Well, I mean, unless it's a family, well, even maybe not even then. Yeah, I mean, I you go to grandma's house and she gives you a caramel apple. <laughs> you know, really use your discretion. Yeah. No, we really <laughs> trust her, Doc. I don't think we do. One of the things I would uh, suggest as well, sometimes with these masks, they have no peripheral vision. Yes. You may want to check your yeah. visual acuity there to make sure. Because if they're going to run around, it's candy. Who's not excited? And yeah. they can't see things. Absolutely. The masks, Bam. they do recommend if you can find a non-toxic makeup or face paint instead of a mask because masks okay. really do obscure your vision quite a bit. And when you're little and you're kind of running around, it's pretty easy to run out in traffic That's without me every seeing day. a car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I just listened to a podcast recently, and I just got to mention this. They said they were talking about their worst trick-or-treating adventures ever. And one girl was like, when I was a child, we, there was this person in our house, and they literally just had one large open bag of Lay's potato chips. And every <laughs> child that would come up, they just put one loose potato chip into each child's bag. And we were all like, yeah. why? Someone forgot candy. That's right, what they happened. were like, well, I've, we got potato these, chips. I've got these chips. <laughs> well, that's um, sort of where the trick comes into play, I think, right. you know. They were tricking. This is not a treat, lady. But good information, a great way to remember it, ace. Yep. A again. Around the house. Around the house, C, costumes, mm -hmm. and then E, actually eating, eating. the candy, making yes. sure there's age appropriate, no choking hazards, things like that, and of course, unfortunately, the fentanyl problem that we've been dealing yeah. with, you know, and targeting children, so keep Great that in mind. info, and good luck with the yes. winter coming yes. up at your house. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. the, the Elsa, Anna and Elsa costume so popular again this year. Yes. And they have been for years for kids. Yeah, it so. will be forever. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a third movie soon. Yes. But I love that the girls are going to incorporate their little brother. Yes, in Henry Olaf. is going to be Olaf. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, said love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Tune in every Thursday for Talking Kids with Dr. Caitlin today. Those trick or treating safety tips. But every week we're talking about a super timely topic to help keep you and your kids safe. So, Dr. Caitlin, great to see you yeah. again this morning. All right, we got to look at your final forecast coming up in just a bit. And we're also going to give you something to look forward to as you head out the door. Stay with us, GMK, back in just a minute.